it's Erin Stutland, and today I want to share a story about the power of specifying your intentions and the importance of being very specific when you are asking for what it is that you want, whether it's with your body, relationships, your career, or finances, the power of being specific. A couple years ago, one of my very favorite dance companies, Pina Bausch, was coming to New York City, and I was so excited to finally get to see them live. And as soon as I went online, I found that the tickets were completely sold out. So of course I was disappointed, but I said, I'm not gonna let that stop me. And I decided that when the concert came around to take a trip out to the Performing Arts Center and see if I could get tickets. Um, so I went out there with a friend, and when I got there, uh, there was a line that was around the block of people waiting to get a ticket for this show. So I went up to the front, I went up to the box office and I said, how about how many tickets do you end up giving away, you know, from people who cancel or don't show up or whatever it may be. And they said, mm, usually about 10 to 15. And there's no doubt that this line was about 55 deep, if not more. But I said to my friend, you know what, let's just, let's just stand in line and let's see what could happen. So we went and we got to the very back of the line and we were standing there. And as we were standing there, I just kind of started to say to myself, you know, I think I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get a ticket. I think I'm gonna get to see the show tonight. I really wanna see the show. So rather than standing there feeling like stressed out or pissed off or sort of saying like, this is never gonna happen. It's never gonna work out. Why don't we get here sooner? I just kind of began to be like, wouldn't it be nice if I got a, a ticket for the show? And I just was kind of letting myself come up with these different scenarios of how I might be able to get a ticket. And one of the things that I came up with, I, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be nice if somebody like walked out of the theater and had an extra ticket and they gave it to someone in line? Wouldn't it be nice if someone walked out of the theater, had a ticket and gave it to someone? And I was just kind of being like, yeah, that would be so nice. That would be so cool. And this is about 10 minutes before the show was going to start. And we're standing there and wouldn't you know it, I see someone walking out of the theater with a ticket and you can tell that they're coming towards the line. They're walking towards the line and they hand the ticket to someone about five behind me, five people behind me. And I was like, oh gosh. And I kind of thought about it. I was like, I meant, wouldn't it be nice if someone walked out of the theater with a ticket in their hand and they gave it to me to like where I'm standing in this latitude and longitude of where I am standing right now to me. And so I was like, oh gosh, I wasn't specific enough. So I kind of stood there a little bit longer and I thought, you know, I got back into the groove and I'm like, wouldn't it be nice if someone walked out of the theater with an extra ticket and brought it over to me? And I let myself kind of meditate on that. Now it's about two minutes before the show is gonna start and this line that we're in hasn't moved at all. And right as I'm standing there, I didn't even see this happening. Somebody was walking out of the theater with a ticket and actually my friend saw the person and they walked over, my friend walked over to this person, grabbed the ticket, turned towards me and said, go, go in and see the show. And so that's exactly what happened is somebody walked out of the theater, had a ticket and it ended up coming to me. Now I know this is a little bit of a, a funny story, um, but I wanted to demonstrate to you the power of being so specific when you're setting a goal, when you're asking for what you want, when you're clarifying your intentions. And I think that being specific and getting specific is actually very hard for us, in part because we're afraid that if we get really specific and then we don't get what we want, we'll feel as though we have failed. But the way that I like to look at it is if you get really super specific, like you set your target and let's say your target is right here, it gives life sort of the opportunity to kind of hit towards that target. And even if you ended up a little outside that target, you're still closer to what you want than had you not even been specific at all. So there's so much power in being really specific when you sit down and say, this is what I want to accomplish. And it's actually one of the things that we talk about and, and work on in Magical Manifestors in the very first lesson is how do we get specific? What are exercises that we can do to sort of start to uh, jog our creativity and come up with ideas? Because I think part of it is also we are, you know, sometimes even just simply afraid to dream and to dream big and to dream specifically. So it's actually one of my very favorite exercises, one of my favorite lessons that we do in Magical Manifestors. And so I just want to share with you if, if being specific is something 
something that you struggle with in terms of setting goals, or maybe you have a lot of different ideas and you have a hard time really narrowing things down and getting specific with what you want, um, go ahead. I invite you to just check out the link below. I'm starting a new Magical Manifestors course in just a few weeks and would love to have you join us. We do a lot of really fun things. So check out the link below. It'll take you over to a page where you can learn all about the course. It's been something that I've been running for a long time now, and uh, it's been such an honor to see people manifest these very specific things that they've come up with through the course. Um, so go out there, get as specific as you can today, even by setting your intention today, what specifically is it that you want to see happen today? Can you just play with it and be specific just, just for the fun of it? Um, so, so give it a try today. Check out Magical Manifestors below. And again, I'm Erin Stutland, and I will see you again real soon.